Now, when putting it back together, I tend to use, and some people again leave this dry, I tend to use a little bit of KC Concepts on that O-ring, just a little. On this O-ring, because it's static, again, all static O-rings for me, get Dow 55. Put that back in as such. Put that screw on there. And this is a little bit tricky as well. What you're gonna wanna do to put this back together is stack all that up and set it on top of your, your wrench, okay? Now, you can see here, this is the divot. There's a hole on one side of the valve and a divot on the other. You're gonna want it when you put this back together to slide the body over with the divot down. Why, you say? Well, let Mr. TF tell you. That divot has to line up with, and it will want to turn on you, that divot has to line up for the, the retention uh, nut that holds it the right way so that the air passage is, is lined up correctly. So what I do is I usually take my one inch uh, Allen key and I hold it in place while I snug down, and it wants to fall over on me, while I snug down using this tool, and I'm sure there's more than one way to do it, this is what I do. While I snug down with the tool, not very much, just so that that divot lines up and allows this screw to go in properly. Now you can tell that it went in properly, it went right in very easily and it's flush. If you're not flush, you, you've got this valve in wrong, okay? But I tighten that, I snug that right up. Again, nothing crazy, I don't go all insane and start ripping stuff apart. The reason why is that stainless steel is screw, this is aluminum, stainless steel will win and you'll strip out a body and it's very expensive, don't do that. Once that's snug down, I give it another little turn to make sure this is snug in the body. And that's just, that's snugged up. Now, this little retention screw has to go in, that's easy to forget. All that does is stop that red valve uh, retention locking nut from backing out. Put that in. Then your hammer goes in next. The hammer needs to go in lug to match that hole. It goes in like that. Now what I usually do is go ahead and, and move that lug down. Four screws to get it out, four screws to get it back. What you'll find on this too, and it's impossible to see on this gun because it is pretty new, is that once you play with it for a while, that lug will wear a line. It'll be a kind of a clear anno line that will wear a line and we'll show you exactly where to match your, uh, where you set your lug to. Four turns in, it'll get you about there. Watch the other video for how to set the timing and get that correct. If you don't remember, one eighth inch uh, gap on the back block on auto trigger. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, go watch the other video on timing. Turn in this IVG, two, two and a half turns in from flush. It should get you at 300 feet per second with a properly set regulator. Properly set regulator in a series six is 300 PSI. Series five, also 300 PSI, SS25, as series six prototype 350. There's only two other screws on this gun and they very rarely need to come out. You need a 1 16th to do it. I'm only gonna take one out, which is the um, ball detents. There's a plate there. Take that screw off and you're gonna expose these little bitty nubbin dudes. These are spider or intimidator nubbins. You can find them um, a lot of places. And there's one screw in here. Just make sure everything's clean and that these uh, little nubbin guys look good. Make sure that they're protruding into the, the um, breech an adequate amount to stop the ball from rolling down the barrel. And you're just going to put that back. And that's it for the main body. Um, the next thing you're going to do is put on the pump arms. Static O-rings, again, SS25. No, Dow 55. SS25 is a gun. It's hot here in Houston. I'm uh, actually hallucinating right now which is actually normal because of, of the methamphetamines, so. Hey, bud, <laughs> let's party. 
Last thing I would do is put a little bit of dowel on this static o-ring as well. The trick for this is to make sure that those two arms are lined up. So just make sure that they're parallel, and you can bend those a little bit, I do. Make sure that they're parallel and they look straight. And if they're not, you'll know when you try to put the pump back on, okay? That should be it for the body. Thanks. Oh, no!